welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my first makeup tutorial for 2017 I decided to go ahead and do something simple to start off with with a nice matte eye and then a red lip I feel like a red lip is good year-round but especially around like fall and winter and like holiday time I feel like it just suits the occasion like even better although a red lip is awesome year round so I figured we just go ahead and start off with this and then we can move on to more of the darker looks and the thing that inspired this makeup tutorial is the wet n wild uh, liquid lipstick in the color missy and fierce I feel like this lip color is just absolutely perfect perfect for someone around my skin tone. I feel like this will look very, very good in fair skin too, but I like how it looks like on my specific skin tone. And I feel like a matte lip, just it's just so sexy in general. So not only can you wear this like year round, but I feel like it's like perfect for um, like a fall, like date night type of thing. So yeah, I also did go ahead and I used the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I believe I do have another video with that makeup makeup palette but um feel free to use similar colors for this look i just know that all of my colors were in this palette but if you guys are a neutral girl you guys are bound to have very similar colors to the ones that i did use from the palette but if you guys do have the palette as well feel free to follow along so um without further ado let's just go ahead and get started with the makeup tutorial okay do not mind my hair yes it's crazy as usual but we will fix it towards the end. So, also, I already went ahead and did my eyebrows and I primed my face just to go ahead and save time. Um, but quickly, I'll go ahead and I sh I'll share with you guys the products that I did use. Um, to prime my face, I did use this Catrice um, Prime and Fine Smoothing Primer. Um, I put this in the center of my face and then on the rest of my face, I use the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. And on my eyebrows, I have the e.l.f. Brow Pencil Clear Gel. And then also I went ahead and I cleaned them up with the NYX Concealer in a Jar. Also in the color, also in the brow pencil, I am in the color, I believe, dark, or natural brown, excuse me. So that is what I have on my face so far. And then I sprayed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish primer water um so yeah that is all that i have on my face right now so we can go ahead and move along to the rest of the tutorial so today for foundation i'm going to be using the uh, maybelline dream liquid mousse in the color honey beige i do have a first impression on this foundation if you guys want to go ahead and check it out i will leave the link down below but i'm pretty much just going to apply this to my face with the real techniques pointed foundation brush and then i'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the beauty blender This color, um, Honey Beige, is a little bit too pink for my liking, but once we add concealer and powder, we can go ahead and make it work. So for concealer today, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. This is in the color Glow, and I'm just going to be applying it to all of my usual areas. You guys know the drill. And set my t-zone I'm not gonna bake today but to go ahead and set it I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D lock it translucent setting powder the reason why I am setting instead of baking is because since this powder is a little bit more white whenever I do bake with this powder I find that it does leave a white cast because I am um, tan so with this powder it is a really really good powder but I don't like to bake with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and dust it underneath my eyes and on my t-zone it's just still a really really good powder it does help minimize your pores and it makes you look super super smooth in your t-zone
For the eyes, I'm gonna be taking the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And I'm gonna be taking my go-to shade for my transition shade, which is butter, I believe. It's butter and pooter. I'm gonna go ahead and mix both of these on my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my crease for my transition shade. the lid I'm gonna be taking silk cream and this one is MFEO and I'm gonna go ahead and take it on a flat shader brush and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid of pooter and butter on the same uh, blending brush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the crease just to go ahead and blend everything together. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here called Bun and I'm gonna be taking it on the Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm mainly gonna go ahead and focus this on the outer corner of my eye and bringing it in just slightly. Now going back in with the Sigma E40 with no additional product, I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything together. We're gonna go ahead and take a little break from the eyes and move on to the face. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Imported Powder. And I am gonna be using the color Toffee Caramel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over my face with my Sigma F30 brush. Going in with my go to's, which is MAC Sunbask and also MAC Gingerly. So I'm going to go ahead and mix both of these together. my face including my brow bone I'm gonna be using the Maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter and this is in the color molten gold I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube and it is a really really beautiful highlighter I feel like shades like this look so beautiful on tan skin so if you guys are like my skin tone um, or tan I feel like they, these shades are like ugh, on point so we'll go ahead and apply it with my Anastasia a23 brush face it is time to go ahead and set it with some setting spray and I'm gonna be using the Milani make it last 16 hour wear setting spray for this look I am gonna go ahead and apply some false eyelashes so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and coat my eyelashes with a little bit of mascara I'm gonna be using the Rimmel lash accelerator and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop some of these gl glasses some of these eyelashes on which are like my go-to eyelashes it's the kiss ever ease um, eyelashes in number 11 all right lashes are on I also went ahead and I put a coat of mascara in my lower lash line then I also went ahead and lined my waterline with my usual eyeliner, which is the L'Oreal Silk Sign Eyeliner in Black. Moving on to the last step, which is lips, and pretty much what inspired me even filming this makeup tutorial, which is the lips. So for lip liner, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the color red the scene so it's pretty much a red lip liner and this literally feels super super smooth it feels like gel hence the gel lip liner super awesome super affordable i believe it was like three bucks how many times can i say super but anyways yeah it is a super affordable and it's super pigmented like super <laughs> but yeah i really do want to go 
out and get some more of these because it just glided on the lips so nicely. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild, uh, what are these called? Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick in the color Missy Fierce. Missy and Fierce, and if you guys are around my skin tone, this is going to be your perfect red lip. And I just love a matte red lip. Something about just a matte red lip is like so sexy to me. I have done a, I believe it was a champagne eye and a red lip tutorial, but that was using like a shiny lip. I believe um, but this time we're gonna go for more of that matte which again I absolutely love my first fall makeup tutorial for 2017 figured we can go ahead and start off really easy and simple and then we'll move on to the more darker and bold looks so I hope you guys did enjoy this makeup tutorial if you guys did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to leave your comments down below and do not forget to subscribe if you guys are new so with that being said everyone thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye